going to begin the reassembly of this engine starting with these parts I've got in front of me here. So this uh, timing shaft is the first thing that's going to need to go in here and this part just goes right inside here like this. Drop it in place and push it push it tight. You'll see it spins nicely nice and clean. <coughs> Next I'm gonna put my piston in. As you can see this F indicates that's the front. It doesn't really matter right now how I put it in there as long as I have it rotated properly when I put the front front housing on. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna squeeze that ring using a couple of toothpicks kind of try and compress the ring again and get it to drop Ooh. that little uh, toothpick didn't hold up very well the trick is just to Press this thing while you're kind of holding, holding down on it, and there it drops right in place. I need to kind of nagle it up a little bit. So here, <coughs> what I've got to do is use a little bit of paper towel and clean my sealing areas off real well here. Got a lot of oil on these parts, but I want to try and at least clean them oil off the seating area because I'm going to need to use some gasket maker on there. So what I'm going to do initially here is this timing gear, I'm going to line it up and then push this piston up so that the hole and the hole in the connecting rod and the timing gear basically line up. And then you basically just Put the two together like this. Now with the timing gear off, or the case off, I can sit here and kind of rotate this around if I didn't quite get it on there right. So this is how it'll go on there. I don't think there's an orientation here. I didn't see if there's an orientation. It looks like it could go any way. So right now, you can see everything's rotating and it's fine. Everything's all fine and dandy. Now, I want to wipe off the exterior of this a little bit. I don't need all that oil on there right now. What I'm going to end up having to do, I'm going to pull this up just a little bit like that. And using one of these toothpicks, and this Permatex Gray Gasket Maker Motor Seal 1. I'm going to use this toothpick. Just kind of snake some along in here. And I, could, I can get a little messy with it. It's okay. It'll come right off. I just want to make sure I get a nice little bead around there. And then when it seals up, it'll squish out. Of course, I'm getting coming apart now more but kind of making a mess here but that's all right this stuff cleans up real easily around there so I can put this back together here. Okay. So I've squished that together and I'm out of paper towels. <coughs> Take these four screws out. I should have had those out. 
Or if it looks like a mess, it'll clean right up. This gasket maker is chemical resistant. Gets tacky pretty fast. And uh, comes off real easily when you go to disassemble it.